Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm actually super excited because I will be planning for the first time in my new Recollections Planner. I don't think I've shown this planner on camera yet, but it is very similar to the um, Erin Condren, so I figured it's a good alternative to do just some extra plan with me's in. Um, so this is the one that I picked up. Oh, you can see my light right there. Um, it's very reflective because of the cover and it's got like shimmers and these beads on the cover so it like if you move it around it makes a noise and everything kind of moves around um, and I think the background is just a unicorn with a rainbow so if I, I've already put my name in here and then um, I'm sure people have shown this planner before on their channel so I'm not going to go into it and then um, here is what the first spread looks like. So this is without any stickers, it's blank. This week spans from June 26th through July 2nd. So this will be the week that I'm planning in. So for this plan with me, I wanted it to be kind of like a challenge spread. I've had people ask me what I do with my leftover stickers and truth be told, I don't do very much with them. Um, I just put them in a pile and then occasionally I'll pull out like a half box or a bill due sticker or something like that every now and then. But I figured for this spread, I'm going to um, try to create a whole spread with only leftover stickers. Okay, so here is my organized stash of stickers and it includes check flags, check boxes, uh, littles, so all my littles here. We've got all the headers of different colors and fonts. We've got deco, we have date covers, and um, just other kit leftovers. So these are all the washi strips. Um, here are some little things that I didn't cut out to put in the other divider. Um, just all the other stuff, half boxes, quarter boxes, etc. Et and in addition to these, I will also be using stickers from this binder. So I showed this in my last video, which was an organize with me video, but this binder basically has all of the leftover stickers from kits as well as samples that I've cut out and just put into different categories. So I think this counts as like leftover stickers as well. So I will also be pulling in stuff from, um, from here. So I'm just going to be using these stickers over here as well as the stickers in my binder. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I don't have any full boxes, so I'll have to figure out what to do. But um, yeah, I'll just kind of explain as I go along and hopefully it kind of works out. Oh, and I'm going to be using my plans from this past week, which is um, June 12th. So I'm just going to replan with my same plans so that I don't have to um, worry about making things up and that just seems like so much work. So anyways, uh, wish me luck and I will kind of let you guys know what happens. So I found this sheet of full boxes that I had left over from a Honeydew paper shop kit that I used back in February. It was one of my all time favorite kits to use and it's super cute. I saved these two full boxes that I had left. Um, this one had a coffee on it and I'm using that as my sidebar um, full box. And as you can see, it does say 2017 July at the very top and I just chose to leave that even though I wasn't really planning for July, but that's fine. And then I found um, the matching headers from that same kit, which is perfect because then the colors would be totally matching. So I used a This Week header as well as a heart checklist that I cut down for marking my Happy Mail. And I am using my Paper Mate Enjoy Gel Pen in 0.7, which is my favorite pen to use. It also works really well on um, this paper. Um, I, I do want to say that this paper is very different from the Erin Condren paper, at least the old Erin Condren, not the brand new one that just came out. I'm not an expert on paper or anything like that, but I just noticed that it tends to rip more easily when I pull up stickers. Um, I usually have no problems lifting up stickers, especially matte stickers on my Erin Condren, but with this paper, I do see a little more tearing. Um, so anyways, that's something that is a little different. I put down a family header and then I use that Monday through Sunday tracker, which I found um, in my binder. So it was a leftover from maybe a Let's Make It Sparkle kit. I think that's like her font. And at the very bottom, I just put down some deco from a Surly Designs kit that I used back in April or something like that. It had lots of like unicorns and rainbows and clouds and things like that. It's super cute. And now I'm just moving on to the bottom washi. So because I don't have any leftover washi, from actual kits, I just decided to pull some in from my collection. I used a Shine Bright one at the bottom. It's purple, so I thought it matched well. And then the top washi um, 
I think I got that at Target. Initially, I thought it would work, but later on, I really didn't like it, so I lifted it up and swapped it with something else. So then moving on to Monday, I started by using a Today header at the very top. And again, these are just the plans that I had already done um, back in June, which you guys probably already saw, so nothing super exciting. Um, I did still have work at this time, so I put down a flag, a purple flag, to mark work, um, something I had to do for work. And then I used a coffee cup that was from a freebie. I believe it's from paper blush bar. I am filming this voiceover quite a few weeks after I did the planning, so some of the things are a little bit murky, and I totally apologize for that. Um, the computer desk sticker was also something that came in a freebie. Again, can't quite remember where it was from. And then um, I used a little cutlery icon. I think that's a leftover from Two Little Bees to mark that I had lunch by the ocean on Monday, which was really, really lovely. At the very bottom, I put down a strip of washi with a filming slate, and then I used a go for a run sticker um, also a freebie, I believe. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm so sorry about this. I just cannot remember where these stickers are from because they're not from like the usual sheets that I pull from. So it's really hard to keep track. But anyways, then I used a little at the very end of the day to mark my dinner. On Tuesday, I started by using another Today header, and then I put down this like really pretty deco that was a monthly leftover, I think, from Watercolor Blooms. I used that for a notes page kit, and I just thought it would be really pretty to kind of mark my last day of work and kind of make this little decorative circle. And then underneath that, I put down a quarter box and marked that I got coffee because it was the last day of work, and I remember wanting to get coffee as like a last hurrah. And then I stuck this little half box that was a freebie from, I think, Chasing Chuck and um, that laptop was a leftover from the honeydew paper shop kit that I'm um, basing everything else off of right now I put down the little meal icon to mark my lunch at Payway, which is like one of my favorite, favorite things to eat. Um, it's not like authentic Asian food or anything, but it's just so good. Their chicken pad thai is like my favorite. Um, and anyways, underneath I put down a little bits header. Um, I initially marked Run Club with that tear teardrop, but I didn't like it, so I switched it for a Kina Prince little jogging couple instead. And then we had tacos that night, so I put down a taco night sticker. I believe it was a leftover from the Crafty Room. And then for Wednesday, it was a first day of summer vacation, so I really wanted to mark that in kind of a special way. I found this half box um, that was left over, so I wrote Hello Summer on that with a flower sticker that was part of a deco leftover. I'm not quite sure which kit or which shop it came from. Um, I had a doctor's appointment first thing in the morning. I used a little leftover icon to mark that, and then I used a to clean header with a four heart checklist underneath to mark some things I had to do around the house. So I just fill in my little to-do list. That trash icon was a freebie, and the laundry day is a leftover from a Planner Bell press kit. Those I do recognize because she has some of my favorite text stickers. And then I went to lunch with a friend, and it's funny because I know exactly where that half box came from. I've been like hoarding it for so long. It was from a Shop Jessica Hearts kit from a year ago called Modern Marble, and it was definitely one of my favorite kits that I've ever used. Um, so yeah, I finally get to use that half box. I think it worked really well in this spread. And then for run class, Club. I used a workout sticker. I think that's a leftover from Paper Candy Art. And then we went to trivia night at the end of the night. So I used a beer sticker and that was from a freebie and I can't quite remember where. So now here is the first half of my week. And this is when I decided that I really didn't like that um, pink and gold specked bottom washi. So I ripped it up. And as you can see, it did rip the planner page. So that's one thing that I don't really like as much um, about this planner compared to my Erin Condren. And the other thing, I don't like is that um, the paper is just kind of like an off white color so when I use white out you can totally see the color of my white out because it doesn't match the color of the paper I think the new Erin Condren has this problem too where the paper is just like kind of not exactly white and I'm kind of bummed because white out totally saves my butt all the time um, so I'll have to figure out what to do with that so then moving on to Thursday, I started by using a to-do header at the top. That planner sticker, I can't remember where it's from, but I'm pretty sure it was a freebie that was um, given by one of the shops I purchased from. And then um, to mark my boba that I got that day, I used a teardrop with a coffee sticker from Shop Oh So Fun. And then I put down a to-go um, header because I did have some errands that I was running that day. And then I used one of those clipboard heart checklists that I absolutely love. That was from the same Honeydew Paper Shop kit. Um, I have a lot of those left over and I just think they're so cute and I was so happy I was able to pull that in. And um, underneath I put down a little bits header. Initially I used a strip of washi and wrote that my friends came over, but I do remove that washi later on because I felt like maybe that space was just 
just a little bit too busy. So then I used a box sticker. I think that one is so adorable. I'm pretty sure it's from Papered Kiss. And then I used an event label sticker at the bottom to mark our dinner. And that heart icon I know is from Sugar Paper Bear. I recognize her hearts because they're super bubbly and really cute like that. So always nice when um, shops have something very unique and distinct that you can immediately recognize. Then for Friday, I started by using a Little Bits header at the top. I did a lot of filming that morning, which I pretty much did every day because I wanted to film a lot of videos before I was going on a hiatus. And that laptop sticker, I believe, is also from Papered Kiss. And then I put down a little phone sticker to mark that I had to make some appointments. And the three heart checklist was a leftover from a kit, but I can't remember which one. I'm so sorry. And then um, that grocery icon. Gosh, I'm really trying hard to remember where it was from, but I'm so sorry. I really don't remember. And then, um, okay. So for the end of the day, I put down that movie marquee, um, to mark that we watch TV. It wasn't a movie, but I just figured it would be a cute way to mark that we watch some TV. And we went on an ice cream date at the end of the night. And the ice cream sticker was a sampler, I believe from Wendy Prince. I'm thinking off the top of my head, I think that's where it was from. And then moving on to the weekend, for Saturday and Sunday, I put down two washi strips that were matching. And then I initially used a weekend banner from a Cricut Paper Co. Uh, freebie, but I felt like the colors really didn't match that well, so I ended up switching it later. On Sunday, at the very end, I don't think I did very much on Sunday, so I put down the other full box that I had from the kit. It says messy bun and getting stuff done, which is super cute. And then I put down a sleeping mask on Saturday from Planning in Mint. It came in a freebie. So here's where I switch out the weekend banner. I think this new one is also from Cricut Paper Co., but it was from a different little freebie that I got from her. And I think the colors match just a little bit better. And continuing on Saturday, I went on a run that morning, so I used a heart icon to mark that. And also, by the way, it's like thundering where I am right now, so please excuse um, the background noise if you can hear the rain and the thunder. It's just kind of going crazy out there. And um, I put down a half box to mark that I got boba. That coffee sticker, I didn't have any boba um, freebies or leftover stickers, so I just had to use coffee stickers instead. Um, and I don't remember where that one is from, I'm sorry. And then I put down a little bit's header at the very bottom. We did attend our friend's birthday barbecue so I put down those balloon stickers which are leftovers from sugar paper bear and that barbecue sticker was a freebie from sweeping plans and then now I'm just moving on to Sunday so I started by using a little coffee sticker like a coffee icon and then I used a to-do header the planner sticker that I just put down is also from the honeydew paper shop kit it matches the girl that came in the kit and then um, pretty much all I did on Sunday was just relax and so I used a leftover me time sticker from planner bell press to just kind of mark that I did nothing all day which is really really nice so pretty much here's my spread and I'm just now sprinkling in some deco pieces from a watercolor blooms kit leftover that was from a monthly notes kit that I used and I just think those flowers go really well with the colors of this spread all right guys here is my completed spread and I actually really like how this turned out um, this was definitely kind of a challenge for me just because I'm not used to not working with a full kit and it was really weird just kind of like trying to pull in things and like I didn't have a weekend banner that matched um, and this was like the best that I could do but you know whatever I think it turned out pretty good so yeah let me know if you enjoy these kind of videos it's not something that I plan to do every week or anything like that maybe just every once in a while like as a little challenge um, because I'm sure you saw how much leftover stickers I have. So um, just any chance to kind of use up more stickers would be great. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.